We have got Polybridge 2. It just came out today, and I'm so excited to play this all for you. Well, let's load this up. So, actually, there's a workshop, too, but we're going to go to Worlds. So, they don't have a world map. Maybe for now, maybe that'll change. But it looks like there's four, four worlds of 16 each for 64 bridges. So, hopefully, they do get difficult near the end. The if content. not, they'll have to add more. Let's start with our first bridge. These levels are going to be pretty easy. So, I imagine we're going to breeze through them. Unless if this game's mechanics are way harder. So, they got tips and stuff about triangles. We have played Poly Bridge 1, so I won't be needing too many tips. We're going to play through this until it gets very tricky. Wait, is this a mini road? A reinforced road. What does this do? What, what, what did I just do? Interesting, so it's just a stronger road? Hold on. Can they go in place of roads? Oh, stronger roads. Interesting. So more mechanics may make it to have there be a lot more diversity and more interesting decision making for leaderboard grinding. Obviously, we don't need a, a supported road for this. This is about the easiest bridge ever. If I fail this, I'm going to be severely disappointed. So let's see. Hotkeys are pretty much all the same. Everything feels pretty normal. A standard triangle bridge for now. And then, oh god, we were really zoomed out, huh? Let's mess around with this, maybe go here? And yeah, there we go, this is just like it was in regular poly bridge. Level complete? Where's the- oh, is this the leaderboard thing? Oh, this is different, okay. We're the top 71% of players. So already, people have optimized the crap out of this. Number one, and then number two with an asterisk? Oh, it has brakes! There's solutions with and without breaks. And look who's at the top of the unbreaking leaderboard. Our boy, Eunice. I expect him to be dominating. We will have to snipe some levels from him in the future. 1-1, one, one, that's not the best one to go for. But other ones I bet will be quite fun. Alright, so let's carry on. A new slope, a downward sloped bridge, hmm? Let's set that up quite nicely and get ourselves moving over. Can't wait till we get a few more materials though. That'll be pretty good. Gotta say, the soundtrack is very reminiscent of the first. Just kind of chill. Guitar playing. Little noodling stuff. I'm glad they stuck to their guns on that because it's a good soundtrack. Do I have to zoom in every time? I hope not. They stuck to the guns because it's a good soundtrack and it just kind of fits the vibe of this quite nicely. In the trailer, they had a new song. So I'm wondering when that's going to pop up. What's a mini road? It's actually a reinforced road. And you know what? Let's use it on here. We got the dump. And it actually shows the stats. It shows its mass and its speed when you hover over it. I don't know what PG means. 140 of them they have though. So I guess we can compare that to stuff. We're going to try the reinforced road. Uh, because I imagine that might be necessary for a strong boy like him. I think I'll just do a normal triangle bridge though. Steel triangles. I mean, this is this is quite simple. If this fails, we'll have, to, we'll have to add some other stuff. But so far, it's been so good and so clean. And a, a little joint stress down here. I noticed there's a different font. The text is slimmer. Honestly, it's different, but it's fine. I've seen some people complaining about it, but you really get used to it. Because I've been watching a couple other streams and videos of this. I'm like already used to the font myself, so if you're off put by this, just give it literally 30 minutes. It's totally good. Alright, we definitely did not do that great compared to people. Top 94%. Okay, you know what? I feel a little shitty about that. I'm not, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like super grind this, but we're gonna shave a little bit. Take this, flip it, put it over here, a little connection in the middle. I could probably actually lower this. Alright, this is, this is at least a little bit more respectable. It's still expensive and it's up there, but it's at least respectable, I think. Yeah, 29%. I mean, sure. That's fine for now. I don't want to be embarrassing myself with a, with a terrible, terrible 70-something percent. So, our first little obstacle. A little boat kind of coming by. So, we got to go over it with the truck. Well, let's do a jump, huh? Nice little easy jump. Does it show the speed? Three meters per second? Well, it's not that fast. Like, do we think that'll make it? It might not. Let's try it anyways. Steal on the most bottom, and then we're just gonna wood up here. This will be fine. Monster truck may be a slow monster truck. Usually monster trucks are pretty quick. You know what? I'll just I'll just I'll just add another one. It's fine. It's fine. Nice little thing for this. Is this a catamaran to go under? Oops, nobody saw that. Oh, they got a little thing to show where it broke. Oh, that's cool. That'll be really handy for when there's so much stuff going on. Alright. 
Oh, and look at that, the perfect little tumble. Uh, the thing's blocking it, but it did complete the tumble. That's badass. Okay, so this has a lot of useful tools for optimizing and for level grinding. And if this game really does tell the truth... Oh, look at this, it actually shows solutions. Other players' solutions. I can, like, download these or something. Look at this guy. So this guy's got this crazy arch. He actually might be close to the top of the leaderboard. It doesn't say who made it, though. It just shows the solution. Checkpoints. We've seen this level before. Anyone recognize this from good old Polybridge 1? It's a classic, actually. Whoops. Let's just do some of these and then kind of vertically flip this. Yeah, something like that. Nice little bridge like that. And we'll just add a bunch of steel supports for now. We can probably just do steel X's in here and everything's okay. When in doubt, just use steel, but if I start to go under budget, or over budget rather, I will have to resort to the classic wood strategy. I think we're actually gonna go over budget like this. No, this is a bad idea. We're over budget. Um, let, we can shave money easily though, that's not hard. Petition to ban Eunice. For what, being good? You don't just ban someone for being good. Oh, these are faster, I should've checked that. All right, very simple design, nothing too hard at all. Uh, let's let's go back. I, I you know, I, let, let's just let's let's take this back just a little bit. I'm sure there's a bunch of ways to do this. Let's just make sure this works with a little bit of wood, just so we have a starting point if I ever decide to go for cheapest. Good players don't have to cheat. So uh, someone left a comment in the uh, previous video where they said Eunice is a kind of a bug tester by nature. He wants to draw attention to these bugs in the most obnoxious way possible. Ooh, hydraulics. Would I like a tutorial on hydraulics? No, because I'm not Ludwig. I think that he's just kind of exposing the glitches and hoping the devs will take notice. And they actually have taken notice. I think they're actually going to do something about the original Polybridge leaderboards. You know, hydraulics are also optional, I want to mention, chat. Hydraulics are not real bridge game too hydraulics are do not have to be real we can just simply go over it a nice little arch bridge just like that i mean it's, it's pretty clean this guy's really light so i imagine i'm gonna do straight up underbelly sports here something like this and then kind of just going over like so and i'll kind of copy paste this as a nice little clean design so then i can just do this and that and then take this and flip it for a cheap and easy solution for half the budget. I would be shocked if this doesn't hold. Because already it's only at 22% stress and this guy is a feather. He's the lightest car driver ever. A ramp would be cheaper, however he's slow. That's nice actually. I don't have to guess whether or not I'll have to make a ramp. I can just know based off the speed. I got an achievement. There we go. And half off. Top 13% just like that. Let's carry on. All right, and now we got the reversal things. All standard polybridge technology. Yeah, Eunice got beat. Like I said, the dust has to settle. I mean, there, there's going to be so many people that are going for it right now, but they're not really doing perfectly optimized designs. They're just semi-optimized. So I think Eunice is kind of waiting it out too. He's just kind of getting a start. He's just getting a start, and then he'll further optimize it in the future. So anyways, I could probably just do something like this and then some triangles up top. If you want a good bridge, it's got to be symmetrical and pretty. So we're going to be making this look real nice and attractive. There we go. Again, half budget. I would imagine that this will hold. Gets kind of close. Hoo hoo, kachoo, thank you for the tier one. Tantrix, thank you for the prime. Top 30%, not bad. I also do like the percentage. That That is pretty cool. So, a 10 polygram truck, that is pretty fast, it's 5 meters per second. This thing's gonna go faster than that dump truck, or not dump truck, that monster truck that we saw. A little tricky, because we have only ropes. I think I'm still gonna do the classic triangles, but on top of the triangles, we're gonna have to do rope. Uh, rope always works best with triangles, and if it breaks, what I think I will end up doing is a reinforced road. Can I still place wood over roads, though? Interesting. Let's do some of this here, some of this here. This looks pretty good, right? Well, it's right on budget, so I imagine this is the textbook design for this bridge. I would imagine this is quite literally intended, which is 
odd for me. Somehow, though, I still beat 23% of the players. Let's try again. So here's what I think could be done. One rope. And actually, this is still pretty expensive. I guess this is just pretty long. I like how it makes the noises too, so you know it's a fire truck. And all the cars on this bridge gotta basically jump off the side. Yeah, right, top 31% is pretty okay. Yeah, honestly, you can't shave that much off here though. You can only shave about 6k off. Because these people just did shorter triangles, basically. That was the entire difference. Hmm. Let's push it a little bit more. A little bit more. Not like too much more. Just a little bit more. Because optimizing this is actually pretty weird. Because there's not actually much to do. And that stuff already goes wrong. Alright, so let's raise this up. Let's do this too. This is probably a lot better, actually. Oh, God. You see that? 95%. God. Yeah, this is... This is something I may have to return to. Top 4%. We're 41st of the top 50s okay on launch day. Not gonna lie, this is a really weird, kind of, in my opinion, boring bridge to optimize. This is something I'd probably do off stream. Let's carry on. Have fun playing Poly Bridge 2. Hell yeah, brother. I'm already having fun. This, this game actually feels like I just started the original one. The only difference is I'm slightly more knowledgeable about the game. So look at, oh, come on. Can I bring this in a bit? I can. Please. Oh, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Please work. Oh, how heavy are you? Oh my god, you're super heavy. Jesus. Alright, so here's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna bring this down, then this down. And then all this is gonna come down. It's just gonna be bigger triangles. That should be a lot better for supports. And if it goes wrong again... Bruh. Are you joking? Let's try again. We're gonna, this time, have a little bit of a dip going on. So one, it's cheaper, and two, it's better. Damn, they really, really made this a tight budget. I did not expect this so early on in the game. I think I'm gonna change the design a little bit and have actually an overarch, kinda like so. Yeah, so we got a nice little arch from the center joint all the way to the side joints, and it looks pretty good. Let's see if it holds up well. There we go. Uh, and we got a little further. So now it's these that are broken. So now I actually have the budget to be able to do reinforced roads. Until it broke, until it got to the middle, it was looking really good. Progress, baby. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Oh, come on. Oh, it's, it's not even close. Wait, wait. And we have it. That was, that was a tricky one. One nine, huh? A sneaky bastard, we just need the arches. I think I'm gonna move on right now. This one's giving me a bit of a pain, not gonna lie. We're gonna we're gonna see what else there is. Ah, and there's a jump. 10.5 meters per second. Now we're talking. Oh, and there's a spring. So this is a new mechanic, the little spring. Now we're talking. So I'm not entirely sure how the spring works, so here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do a little simple jump, like so. I'm gonna try a spring. I have no idea how this works though. And then we can change it being stretched and stuff. So what does a neutral spring do? Uh, it just kind of wiggles. What does stretched do? I'm gonna slow this down as well. Oh god! That breaks! So we could try compressed now to see if it'll... Oh. Huh. That's what that does. That makes a little bit of sense, huh? Well, can I time that? Can I get to, that to go on a clock or something? I would love for it to just do that when the car's over it. What a weird little thing. I'm not sure how I want to work with this, but what I do need to work with is more roads. A spring to land could actually make sense, right? I could also probably use the curve tool. But we, we draw our own curves. The long dong. Oh, come on. Ah, you're kidding. Maybe a little bit more horizontal then and we've got it done beautiful donk it was oh look at that sticks the landing at that first jump on my first try top 28 percent holy shit 
I actually have no idea where this came from, Eunice. Maybe he got really good at the Sprinks. Maybe he figured it out, because that is not even close. Or maybe he's glitched it? I, I wish I could see his, his design. Oh, and I probably also could have a less out there jump with a landing. We could try that. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Wait, it's actually kind of close. I think it's actually the wood supports that are the issue. Yeah, you can see this breaking. Hold on. Let's change this up then. How did, wait, is this even cheaper than what I had before? I'm not I'm not even sure. Okay, that that destroys itself. This this just gets fucked. Let's just try regular triangles then. Uh, it's it's bouncy now. <gasps> that come on! Come on! <laughs> you dick. Like maybe let's try 10% compressed. Just a little bit of oh. Interesting. Straightens it out. Oh, that's very cool. Alright, good call on the compression. So, man, that's gonna be weird to figure out. I bet I could still shave a bunch of money. Top 7% though. You know what? This is actually a really fun one. And this is a good tutorial for springs for me. I'm okay with that. I do think I should change the wood support up top though, potentially. Oh, that's not necessary though, 11,000. Actually, top three are all non-breaking. We're barely top 25, not top 25, top 26. Let's keep shaving some money. So we know that this stuff's breaking. Do we even need these? Yeah, we need those. Compress more. So let's try like 30%. Jeez. Oh, I understand how the compression works now. It... Yeah, yeah, that didn't actually break. That's insane. Okay, so here's how it kind of works, right? When it's compressed, it goes out, and when it gets pushed down, it doesn't break. Oh, wow! Holy shit! Wait. Wait for it. <laughs> there it is! Top five! Without a break as well, Mr. Op does have a break. Most of the top five actually don't break. Damn, you, this is a fun one. I bet I could snipe third. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna snipe third. Uh, and if I... We'll see, we'll see if I can go any further. But honestly, it might just take this. Th th that's basically the only thing I need to change, I think. Yeah, already. Automatic. Third place. Okay, that was too easy. We only had 91% joint stress. Maybe I could turn it on to see where's the stre most stress, but it's probably down here. This is our top three for now. This is our good one. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm sure it'll be overtaken, and eventually we will come back on to the next level.